Frankie Abrazino with the Scoop News. And it looks like we finally have affordable housing or an opportunity for it out at Knight's Trail. It looks like PGT and Turks Tumblers and United Way of South Sarasota County, the Northport and Venice Mayors, and some local real estate agents and developers and apartment managers got together and said, look, you know, 70000 isn't realistic for affordable, even though that's what we classify it is as a city and a county. Uh, we need something that's geared more towards the people that are making the type of money that people actually make at PGT, at Turvis, at Sharkies, which is 11 to $15 an hour. Um, so what can we do to get there? Uh, Pollock ended up dropping out of it because it looked like there were going to be some zoning requests. He would have to sit on the board to decide, and so he's no longer part of that. And this is all the plan for basically PGT and Turvis to make it more friendly for their workers. They just started daycare, which is, I think, open seven days a week. Um, and now they're going to go ahead and try to move forward with this um, truly affordable housing. And they're envisioning that John Nolan's acres would basically, it's being reported that they'll develop that and offer rents um, that are aligned with the 11 to $15 an hour range, which means there'll be studio apartments um, ranging from $750. It's being reported that one bedrooms would be about $865 and two bedrooms around $1,040. Again, this is what we would consider or deem affordable housing in my mind. Um, not sure what kind of resistance they will face out there uh if any i doubt it but there are some homes out there and i'm not sure how receptive some of the individ individuals will be this has been francesco abruzzino with the scoop news